uh, mid lane plus the this turret, which oh, no. gives Karsa ample opportunity to look for a gank. Yeah, they must have some inkling that this is coming, but there's nothing they can do given the lane state. Ooh, Good nice heal, heal but the flash comes in from Jackie Love. They want to continue this. Nice double knockup. That's going to be first blood picked up by Karsa. Even Y4 realizing there's no escape here. One more spear <laughs> double kill for Nidalee. It looked like he wanted to give over the kill, but the AD carry. But meanwhile, Ooh, 369, 369 trying to get the solo. He tried. He tried. He tried. But bot lane, we still have an attempt oh, from Mole. No. He showed up into the bot lane. He got picked off as well. Fighting all across the rift. Everywhere I had it. And this also means that Nocturne's going to get an early level 6. Like, he was in lane that entire time. And he also has that extra teleport. So, there's a lot of flexibility in how you could play that. Uh, we are going to see the top lane dive just coming through. Long thing has to flash preemptively. Uh, he's not going to be able to escape that one, even if you try to be able to flash away. It was more of you burned flash to die still. I hope that you believe in deities or uh, life after death, because uh, PP God might need some of those qualities as Karsa is inching in and he has no flash. Oh, no. Whoa, got the double monocup still. Doesn't even matter. Jumps right on top. Gets a third kill. Make it another. <laughs> this bot lane is doom. Yeah, this is what Top Tor, he definitely knew that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to give the player sort of that, that hype factor going in. But here we have the 2v2. It was really good. But it's going to be a difficult 2v2 when it's a 3v3 because you got the TPN behind. But unfortunately, even with the sleep, look who's in the back line with a paranoia on the way away. He's got the kill on 369, but they lost the jungler as well. Karsa looking for the spear once more on a more flashing two for them. Waiting it out. The decimating smash could do nothing because they knew how to play it. 404 means this page does not yeah, exist. A chance to be able to get up those double digits pretty easily. Unless, of course, you have a team to be able to back you up around a fight at Rift Herald. Does V5 want to continue this? They have the train into the backline, but cannot connect that onto Karsa still. Weiwei was able to at least get the Rift Herald. Nice pull, but the flash in Showstopper does not pull back in Karsa, but the Killer Instinct might be able to get the shutdown they needed to, to be able to give gold over. Necessary to Y4. Continuing to chase, though. Knight wants to at least make it a nice, even trade. They got two for one, two for two now. Duo having to flash away. That's a good fight for V5. They got a lot of gold now into their pocket. Rotate and just find something elsewhere. And as they back off, trying to see if they can get towards that bot lane, Mole gets jumped on by Knight. They have the sleep, at least, to be able to try to see if they can follow it up. They've used the little thing Lullaby, had a little bit of damage, but the TP in behind. Oh, making sure that they can kite back perfectly. Knight might still die away, but they have Mole out of good position. They're going to be able to at least get TP God, but White Force is at least able to get the double kill over to the side of Weiwei. Here comes the charge, getting the knock if they need to, taking down the Croc. That is V5 winning a great team fight that they can possibly get some gold back into their pockets as well. Can I just say, top esports are going a little bit too high feet. These are two 4v5s that have, they have fully indexed into. They have committed when they do not have... Jackie, I'm sorry, man, but that, that, was, yeah, that was a disastrous herald coming out from V5. I think Weiwei was like, oh, I need to, I need to pop this. I, it's about to time out. Got to use it somewhere. <laughs> And it was one of those kind of Rift Heralds where you, you've been fighting the entire time because top esports are like, nope, 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 we, we fight. What is it, nine, 19 kills, 15 minutes into the game already? Let's go. This is the type of LPL <laughs> game I like to catch. And underneath their tier one mid. Oh, we finally are going to get the play into the bottom side. That's just going to be a clean pick. Goodbye, Y4. It is. There's nothing really to do there. You, you see the paranoia was popped. You're like, oh, I'm doomed, aren't I? <laughs> this is all over. And... Maybe they can make a play happen elsewhere. Jackie Love has to flash over the wall, using the Moonlight to try to see if he can stay alive. Pulled back <laughs> in by BB God to be able to get the kill over the mole. With the TP in behind, they still have Knight in a position to maybe be able to chase down BB God. They lost Karsa on the other side. They will be able to take down the support, but they have to be careful because look at the damage coming in from Y4, uh, Y4 from B5. Without Y4, they don't even need him to be there to be able to take down the members of TES and pressure this tier one mid. V5 are scrapping it out against the best. Honestly, their win rate after Lunar New Year was atrocious. They, they actually only have 20% win rate after the yeah, break. Happened to be able to get the Sleep Trouble Bubble to steal that away. But I do want to go back into your point you were making that Top Esports, this composition does need to continue to snowball ahead. If they keep having these awkward fights where they're either barely winning or staying even or they're completely losing, that could be detrimental to them. Right now, it seems like they might have caught out them way too far, picking off V5 pretty easily. Double knockup comes in. Killer Instinct trying to get away, but it's going to be the trade. Peepy God's going to give his life. That that way, his bot lane will be able to survive without him. 
Yeah, and most importantly, Y4 actually holds on to his own flash during that trade. Really good killer instincts and heal to take him out of the position. He stays alive, and this is a risky Baron for top esports. We have to remember that it's only the support going down for V5. They're going up against a Zoe with unsealed spellbook, and uh, it's it's not an easy fight here. They don't have the tankiest no. of members, and here comes V5. Whoa. Longshi with the little thing lullaby. Dwold taking a lot of damage for the team. Longshi trying to see if they can get a pick in the back line. A lot of damage put back in on top of Dwold. Dwold finds the kill as Weiwei was able to survive through it all. So they, they turn for a Baron or maybe just to be able to get a pick on a fight. I, I want to say that was actually completely from Knight himself. He actually gets the blue trinket and luckily he finds someone with it. So that's a very common use of blue trinket plus paranoia coming out from Nocturne. He just kind of got lucky with it, to be honest. He just found someone that he could allow the escape from. Well, it looks like they might have the pick in the back line. Bye-bye, oh. Lilia. They even pull back in PP God. They give a double kill over to Jackie Love. And now it's a 3v5. Even if you have Duel pretty low, you got to run for it. You have no flash Y4. They can continue to chase this. If they can get near you, you are going to die in an instant. And what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? You even have a killer in sequence? Does it really matter? Knight finishes you off with only two members surviving for v 5 I was saying that this was going in V5 favors, but it looks like top esports, they don't get punished for getting greedy whatsoever. They find a perfect fight onto Lilia, and wow. Weiwei actually started with Zanya, still didn't get it to go off before just disappearing into the Aether. Uh-oh, Maul might have been too far out. He thought he had the pick on Ejaculove, but you always gotta remember that if you're too far out, they can pick you too. Longjing trying to be able to get away, has the turret to be able to back up, but now that you have Two members still with cooldowns until they're going to be able to respawn. Hop Esports want to be able to peel for that Baron. This is such a topsy-turvy game where we see a uh, Knight getting picked into top Esports starting Baron and then finding even more picks onto Wayland. This is... Oh, this is not what I expected, but I what I love out of top Esports. It's just how fast they react to everything on the map and they're going and for another look play. look at that. They got the flash in the back line from Weiwei once more, trying to see if he can survive, but people got jumped on by at 369, no longer having the Haymaker shield. The spear not going to be able to connect. Going to be able to use a little thing lullaby, but it's onto one of the tanks. Trying to see if they can take down the croc, but unfortunately not going to be able to. They have to peel back for V5. Trying to see if they can stay alive. Well, but it was headbutt pulverize into Ruthless Predator for him to just get killed from 100 to full with Sonya. So really well oh, done. And, and they are going for Joel? it again. Always finding the picks. Always knowing when to pull the trigger with the flanks. Even having Knight in the back line trying to see if he can jump on top of Mole. But that's going to be the other team members coming in to try to help out with the little thing by not really doing too much. Having 369 just jump on top of Wei Wei. Peepy God trying to survive, but he can't get through it. He's died into the ground. The rest of the members of V5 trying to be able to run away while Knight might take a little bit of damage but he at least had a little bit more himself will be able to revive with the help of that GA gonna have all oh, decimating smash a little too early out of Longxing and now that he has no members to be able to peel back from he finally dies they finally can kill the zombie and with the minions starting to pour into the base this could be TES winning the game we are going to get a next team fight coming in. V5 do have their car carries coming up in less than 10 seconds, but no front line. Oh, it's going to be a last turret. stand in top esports. Right. Put the and look touches. at Y4. He just Ooh. got eviscerated the moment he tried to jump into the middle of everyone. That's the game for top esports. It might have been messy there in the mid part of the game, but they were able to. Win time has been 27 minutes so far in this split. We're going to take a look at the ban picks right now. A Queen top lane going up against uh, either a Renekton or a Car. There's a flash going over the wall. He wants to smite fight, steal this. He does not get it. Has the lantern to click on, but look how long it took. Finally, he was able to get just to dodge away barely from the Keep your god trying to run away. Gets slowed down by the Graviton. Pulled back in by the Destin and play combo and giving over kill first blood to Jackula. Yeah, that's a great find. The problem when you have a pro they have to do a risky roam. This is spotted out already by top esports by the pings, it but they might still work. So look at that. Easy peasy dive. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like this play from yeah. I no. missed that as well. Uh, good Okay, Dwell, you're just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're not, <laughs> you shouldn't be there. But yeah, just talking about Valor, I miss him. It was fun to play, even though it wasn't that deep for Mole, unless he's going to be able to use that quickly enough. So the TP is used by Knight to cut off the retreat. Karsa here too, getting a stun on a PP God, flashing away to try to be able to survive. Shockwave pulls back in for the kill, and with the Lantern 2, guess what? It's going to be Y4-2. Yeah, just... Uh, Pure give me from top esports, no response from V5. They already have uh, Olaf tracked really well. And this is the thing about top esports play a lot of it does come from the fact that they're able to track the enemy jungler. 
and know when the enemy jungler isn't able to respond. Just as I say this, though, Duel is almost dying a second time. <laughs> why, are you, why are you there again? What are you? Why do you want to be? Did you buy like real estate in that part of the jungle and you feel like you have to visit? Is it like your timeshare that you feel like you have to go to every so often? You shouldn't be there. If you got a plot of land, right? Take away a dragon, mm -hmm. so gonna be their second one of the game and kind of gives them a bit of a win condition if they're able to get the third dragon get themselves within a soul point they could force I, I saw what happened i'm just i'm just gonna rush right past it yeah good try good try v5 let's go boys <laughs> you know what at least they're trying i will give them that it's it's A for effort. It's just, even if it is a clown soul, you don't want to give that up. You want to make it so that you're going to still be able to fight. And look at the side. That Longshin still can't really get near 369. They're trying to see if they can use the Ragnarok to be able oh, to get into the bit and get a little bit of damage onto Jack Love. But look at the damage to put back onto Weiwei. Flashing forward to be able to get him back towards the team. Mold keeping him alive for now. But you know, honestly, all it's going to take is one more tick of damage. Look at Longshin. <laughs> he dies in the back lane, even with the Prowly Skull. Flash coming oh, in from Jack Love over the pit to try to get the fight to go on to Peeping Cloud. Then what are you going to be able to do against the Zephelios? You can do nothing but die that is a clean pick coming in from the side of jackie love with that flash over the wall only y4 surviving that is amazing to see out of top esports i feel like long Sing finally lost his cool he's been pressured every day at work he's coming in at 9 a.m they're not letting him leave until it's well past eight and he just couldn't stand it anymore he just goes up from his cubicle and he wants some blood but unfortunately I uh, really wasn't the play. No one on the team was able to follow up. V5 lose a bunch of HP after the play and a great just Stop esports. Yeah, V5 are going to have a really hard time engaging into this one. I think they will come in regardless and this might just be top esports' opportunity to wipe the floor with them once more. Kind of. Turret was taken mid lane. I actually think this Flunk is a good call in. from V5. They're just Flunk waiting it out. He's looking out. for that flank. He's like, I can do it. And I think they just all back. I don't think that they Flunk even see, find him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's found his target. He's going to look for Knight. Shockwave use. He can finally get some use out of the Prowly Skull, but no. Knight survives. And guess who's here? It's the one to clean up the party. It's 369 yet again to make sure that there is no way this Renekton can do anything. Yeah, the office rage doesn't work out again. Uh, and we are going to see Top Esports just come in with the uh, home guard teleport to catch people out. Mole trying to get back towards that blast cone, but this is a good read coming in from PES to make sure he cannot escape. They got the stun, run, rob, uh, whatever, however you say it. However, his character is able to say because <laughs> Y4 died too. And now with V5 back towards their own base with the Baron buff still on top. Uh, it, it just, it's its kind of painful, okay, okay. honestly. Here, here, 13k I'll, I'll already. I'll take over again. I'll take over again because right, right now right. it looks like the arrow you is going to connect on a Jackie Love. <laughs> Finally, but look at the shockwave on a PP God. Keep him at bay. Only four members are here in mid lane trying to siege down V5 because they don't even need Karsa. They finally will crack open the first inhibitor turret of the game. DES have V5 right. I don't want to go for this anymore. Anticlimactic. Uh. I know. It's like you're watching a horror movie. They open up the door. No one's there. No. But now in the top lane, it looks like they're going to be able to get the ring in the back. Look at that damage on a V5. They might have jumped on top. Jackula finally going to be able to slice and dice him down. But now they got to run away. 369 is here to party. That was a 4v5 before. Now they got the team here with the shockwave landing on the two members to get the two kills over to Knight. You got nowhere to go. Triple kill comes in from Knight. PP God trying to run away from Karsa. But it's only going to be back to the own base that is getting completely destroyed completely own its new management and its top esports 24 minutes into the game they're looking to close this one off already still 25 on all three major lane carries on the side of v5 they're gonna lose double inhibitors for this but it looks like top esports are actually giving them a reprieve not trying to take this one home and i just realized i did about 10 seconds of play by play for absolutely no reason <laughs> <laughs> aha i got him to do my job for me yeah, Big brain. Smart, smart play. We got the TPs, though. B5 are trying to scrap this one out. You know what? Respect. I respect it. It is the YOLO play. They are down how much gold now, but look at the damage coming in from 369. He's not afraid. You think that you got him locked down, but it's not the case at all. Karsa is still alive, running towards Jackie Love's hands, trying to see if they can get away, but Mole dies. Triple what? kill. What? Oh, no. no. I was hoping that we could get the fence up, but it doesn't matter because they have 369 here. They got the clean ace. Karsa makes it out, and that is top esports winning the game. If it wasn't game then, it's surely game now. We can see Top Esports just po toying with their 
food. And that was the visit that Karsa wanted to give over to Longxing. Old teammates, but no emotions shown. Just taken out completely in top esports with another dominating 2-0 win to cement themselves as the oh! best team after <laughs> the, the shockwave break. got the kill inside the fountain. The damage. Top esports, they have the fancy plays. They are the sixth team to qualify. They locked in their spot for 